Hey everyone, this is Tony from ODrive, and I wanted to make a quick video about the ODrive desktop client and just some of the basics that'll help you use it immediately as soon as you install it. It's very easy, and uh, the only things that might help you are just to understand a couple of concepts. One is placeholder files, and the other is sync, and so I'm going to go over that in this video. I'm on a Windows computer here. If you're a Mac user, I also have a Mac video. And so I'm looking now at my O drive folder, and this is what anybody would see if they were to install the O drive desktop client. It pops up a window, shows you all the storage you've linked to your O drive account. You can see I have several different types here. I'm gonna drill into my Slack storage. So I'm gonna double click on that and drill into a channel here, random channel. And now it's listing all the files that are in this channel, and they'll happen to be image files. And these files are what we call placeholder files. They represent files and folders in the cloud of your, for your cloud storage. And they work pretty much the same as any other file on your desktop. They have a, a modified date and they even have a size here, but the size is representing the, the remote storage size and not the local because if you look here, the local size is actually zero bytes on disk. And that's, Something that allows O-Drive to be able to navigate and sync all of your storage. You can go to specific areas. You can see how quickly I was able to drill specifically into where I need to go to. And I can navigate terabytes and terabytes of, of data without having to worry about resource constraints on my local system. And if I want to access one of these files, I can just double click on it, just like any other file. Double click O-Drive and the background is going to bring that file down and then pop it up in the appropriate viewer. If I wanna sync one or two multiple files without popping them up, I can do that by right click syncing and that what that'll do is that'll bring it down and then not pop it up so that if you want to access it later, you can. You can even do this for an entire folder. I can go out back out to the folder, click on sync here. And this brings up some options for how you wanna sync the folder. This is a threshold slider to determine the size of the files that you want to sync. The ones that are past the threshold are just going to stay as placeholder files. And then this include subfolders option here it just means that if there's any subfolders inside the folder you're syncing, it'll drill through those and so on and so forth all the way down and apply the threshold to that as well. So you can sync an entire folder if you want to. I'm going to click on the and the other option I'll go over in a later video. I'm going to click on the big sync button here to start. And you can see O-Drive is now working on this folder. There's a fuchsia badge that indicates it's being worked on. If I drill in, you can see that some of these files are also being worked on here. And the ones that have already been synced have these check marks next to them. And now you can see that the entire folder has been synced down very quickly just with that right-click option. And sync is bi-directional, so obviously you're going to want to be able to upload new files and edit files, things like that. And O-Drive makes that very easy, does it automatically. So let's just take, for example, I'm going to take a file here. I'll make a copy of it. And O-Drive is going to see that I've put a new file in here. And you can see here it has, and it's working on it, and it's uploading it, and now it's been uploaded to the cloud and stored safely there. So, and that's it. That's all you need to know. So you can start using the O-Drive desktop client immediately as soon as you install it. Browse all your storage, sync exactly what you need. And I hope this video was helpful for some of you folks. If you have any questions, you can hit us up on the O-Drive forum at forum.odrive.com. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.